tons of Tom Ford today with the Shade and Illuminate Primer, the Summer Soleil Lip Oil, Summer Soleil Glow Highlighter, and Summer Soleil Emerald Dusk Quad. Hello, print princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. I have oodles and oodles and oodles of Tom Ford, as you saw from the preview looking forward to sharing it all with you. Don't forget that you can also catch my content over on Instagram, TikTok, and on threads. And I urge you guys to know that I do have a lot in this video and we are chatty for the parts of the community who love the chat. But those of you who are in a time crunch, please make use of, there's a reason I spend my time doing them, the timestamps that are very detailed down below can scroll across them in this video or see them down in the description bar. And I want to say thank you as usual to the purveyor of luxury, the all-knowing Tom Ford maestro, that is Andrew and Neiman Marcus on Michigan in Chicago. Thank you so much, Andrew. I do have Andrew's contact information down below. For Tom Ford, none better. Thank you, Andrew. Okay. So we got mostly Tom Ford Summer Soleil stuff here, but for good measure, I threw in the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Soft Radiance Primer. Now this will, oh wait, wait, let me give you a moment to sit down before I tell you the price. Are you situated? Are you somewhere where if you faint, you'll be comfortable for a while till someone picks you up? It is $115. It's Tom Ford. What do you expect, a deal? Okay, uh, and we're going to talk about it a little bit. It is heavily scented. It does dissipate, but it is heavily scented. And it's also heavily skincare based. It's mostly skincare, to be honest with you. And it does provide a little bit of a soft radiance. Now, this leads me into a story. Um, if we could have some sad violin music, please. <sighs> Do you remember the Shade and Illuminate Foundation? It was 150 this one's 115. That one was 150 and I, I loved it. It was my favorite foundation I had ever tried and I used it sparingly. I barely used it. I was saving it for a time, right, that I would need to look perfect. And gosh darn it, somehow the sunscreen in it or something changed and it started breaking me out like crazy. I've had to hide it for myself. I haven't thrown it away, but when I see it, I actually become sad because it was that beautiful. This one does have SPF 25, so I'm going, oh no, is it gonna do the same? But I took a chance because it's Tom Ford and he has me in his grasp. Okay, so we're gonna try that on first. Then we're going to go to the items from the Tom Ford Summer Soleil collection. Now the first one is, well, you know, there. well, let me just back up and say that there are four Ultra Shine lip products in the Summer Soleil Tom Ford collection that I didn't pick up because one has to show some sort of restraint with Tom Ford, even if it's very little. But I'll tell you what lip product I did pick up and you can see by this glaring pink that I'm wearing. This is the Liquid Lip Blush. It's the Soleil Spark Lip Oil. It's $59. Now, look at this. Let me just, can I get a, a close up of the gorgeousness that is this? So here's my problem. If you want to catch me, you know, for some reason, you need to trap me. Just set up one of those little boxes, you know, like with a stick holding it up, like people do for animals, and put one of these things from Tom Ford inside. Any of these pH balanced, color changing, overly priced Tom Ford lip products with like gold flecks in it that promise to turn a unique shade of generally garish pink on the lips, I cannot lay off. I will wander in there and go, why does this appear to be a trap with a small stick holding it up? And I could be trapped in here. I don't care. There is Tom Ford pH Balance Color Changing Lip Product in there. And you will catch me every time. It's like I can't think straight. When we're doing the demo, all I've been doing is staring at it because I wanted to put it on. Uh, and I, interestingly enough, you're going to see, we're going to do some swatches I have two different shades of it and the swatches too because it does react differently, come, becomes kind of a garish pink differently on <laughs> different skin tones. I can't resist. Every time he has one, I buy them all. Just telling you. Isn't it pretty? Okay. We also have the Glow Highlighter in Nude Sand. This guy is $90. 
and it is absolutely lovely. You know, these highlighters, they're $90, so I, I can't say they're good value for money because I all hear the boos right now. Boo! But it, um, they really work beautifully, and what I like about this one, and you'll see it in the demo, is it's golden without being kind of a yellow jaundicey gold. It's kind of a white golden color and I think it's absolutely beautiful. I really have am a fan of these Soleil highlighters from Tom Ford. They're beautiful. And then the star of the show of course is the Summer Soleil Quad, the Emerald Dusk Quad that is $90. We're talking Tom Ford. You are not, don't do the math. Don't do the math of what I have on the table in front of me. Don't you dare. Okay, so this is a $90 quad. I told you he has me in his clutches. I am wearing it, but in the demo, you'll see me try it on. And of course, we're gonna swatch it, of course, in two different lights. What I like about this is it is color without being too colorful. So we've got our three really neutral, easy shades and then this colorful shade that doesn't have to be too colorful if you don't want it to be and it's infinitely buildable and a really interesting Tom Ford formula which is not the wet dry but it's nice and sparkly without being glittery and I think it's actually quite sophisticated and lovely but you'll have to tell me what you think as you watch the demo. All right let's go to some swatches. Here's what we have. We'll do it first in studio light. On my arm you'll see the eye color quad laid out the way it is in the pans and in the palette. Next to it, just alone, is the glow highlighter in nude sand. And then um, there's two, you'll see me switching back and forth on my hand. On my arm, I put the uh, liquid lip blush and Soleil Spark lip oil on my arm. And then I also had put it on my hand and they sat there the same amount of time. And on the hand, it is so much darker than on the arm. So it really does kind of depend on heat and movement and use and I am wearing it on my lips now and have been wearing it for about 40-45 minutes so that's changed as well but we're going to see those same swatches outside in the warm California sunshine you'll see the uh, Summer Soleil palette which is Emerald Dusk followed by the highlighter in Nude Sand and that crazy liquid lip blush Soleil Spark Lip oil that I cannot resist on my hand too in a slightly deeper shade. Why? I don't know. It just does that. Everybody gets their own garish pink and I hope everyone enjoys it as much as I do. I do. I like the heck out of these things. All right, what I want to do now is come back. We're going to try on this. It'll break my heart soon, I'm sure. We're going to try on the Shade and Illuminate Soft Radiance Primer. A lot of people like a primer with a little bit of sunscreen. You're never going to quite get all 25 SPF, but it's beautiful. It's luxury. It's pink. I mean, come on. Tell me this bottle isn't gorgeous. I know. You're going to go, it's not gorgeous, Rebecca, for $150. Oh, you'll be right, but stop being such a party pooper. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go put this on and then the rest of it, and I hope you join me. So this is how far the obsession goes. We're at the primer portion of our video. And I'm just staring at this wanting to put it on. But it's not time yet, Rebecca. It's not time. Okay, how do you put on your primer? Do you use a foundation brush or your hands? I use my hands, but it is YouTube, and you guys don't always like that. Let's give it a try. Now, remember, this does have a fragrance. It's pretty. It's pink, which we know. And it is kind of viscous thin. It's going down my hand. If I left my arm like this, it would go all the way down. Uh, let's go ahead and put this on one side of my face and see what we think. It is, after all, just a primer. The scent is very pleasant, but as you know, I definitely forgive brands that are perfume houses when they put perfume in a product. I do forgive it because I understand it. Okay, so here we go. I'm hoping maybe I can just put a little bit of concealer on and then just do like primer face today because of course they say you could wear this without makeup but I think it's only if you're three years old. Okay so what do we think? This side with the primer, this side without. If you're going to comment below and say Rebecca I see absolutely no difference, I understand that. It is just a primer but I'll put some makeup over it and then we'll kind of see what we think. Too bad I cannot use the disappointment of my life, which is the Tom Ford matching foundation, because though I paid $150 for it, it breaks me out. And I have just healed up from that kind of 
How many times am I going to mention this? I have just healed up from that super goop episode where it broke me out like crazy. And all of you in comments are saying, super goop breaks me out too, Rebecca. We're like the super goop, super broken out crew. So I can't take the risk. Okay, so that is the primer. What I'm going to do is just, we'll put a little bit of light makeup. I'll find something Tom Ford to put over it. And then we will come back. We got eyeshadow and the lips uh, and of course highlighter. So I'll be right back in a second. Okay, so what I did was, I'm eyeing the lip thing already. We're doing that first, I'm just warning you. What I did was I put a little bit of, you know it's my favorite, the uh, Traceless Stick Foundation from Tom Ford, just a little bit over the top. I wanted to just wear the primer, but it's kind of a stupid way to test primer because even though the brand says, go ahead and just wear it alone. Why, why would you? Maybe you do that. And if you do, more power to you. Most of us are gonna wear primer to prime our skin for makeup. So I put a little on, went over it beautifully, a lovely primer, the scent did dissipate. Should you be spending, I'm not your bank manager as I always say, do you need to spend $115 to get this primer over another primer? <laughs> but you do what you want, I'm not your bank manager. Okay, I did. <laughs> okay, I, I gotta put this on. So this is, as you know, the liquid lip blush. This is a Sole Spark Lip, it's uh, $59. Let's put it on, look. The uh, wand is already succumbing to the color, and that was before I even swatched it. Let's see what we get here. Uh, if you remember in the swatches, it's kind of distinctly two different pinks, depending upon if it were on my hand or on my arm. And normally, I would put this on um, first with a liner. Why not now, Rebecca? Because I don't want the liner to interfere. And the reason I'm putting this on first, other than the fact that um, I can't resist it because it's so pretty. I just want to see how it deepens as we put the rest of the makeup on. And we are already going a shade of pink, but let's watch it change as we apply the rest of our little haul here. This is the Glow Highlighter, and it is in shade Nude Sand. This little guy is $90, and before you are aghast and horror at that price, it's the same amount of product as the uh, eyeshadow, actually. They give you a good amount here. So you saw this swatch, let's see. Oh, it's very gold. You know, but it's a pretty gold. It's kind of a white gold. When a highlighter gets too yellow gold, I'm just, I, I am putting on a ton, but I want you to be able to see it. When a highlighter gets too yellow gold, it can look a bit jaundicey to me, even though um, it's highlightery. Let's put a little on that tip of the nosey too. I like it there. Oh, this would be lovely on the eyes. We're not gonna do that today. But I got to tell you, for me, a great summer look would be this on the eyes and that on the lips with a little bit of liner. Tom Ford really does kind of summer makeup really, really well. That would be beautiful, wouldn't it? Okay. Uh, getting to be a deeper pink on the lips, maybe approximating the dark pink shade that a lot of these pH lipsticks go. I don't know. And what do we think of the highlighter? Nice, because it doesn't go yellow gold. I tried to put a lot of it on. Do you need more? Let's do a little bit more for those in the back who may not be able to see. No, I'm not using this as an excuse to put on more, maybe a little bit. I really just want you guys to really see it. Again, you guys, I'm not about application tips. I'm just about trying the formula and seeing if it works and letting you see what it looks like. But you also saw it in the swatches. All right, let's dive into our Emerald Dusk Quad, which I'm very excited about. And part of the reason I'm super excited about this is uh, because it is such a subtle palette. Um, I love neutrals. I got three neutrals here, actually, and this shade. But I, I generally don't do too much color because of the fact that it can be a bit glaring on me. So let's do the same look on both eyes because we only have four shades. So I'm gonna go into this first one with this really nice big Sonia G brush and I am just gonna do all over the eyes, including into the corner. Okay. Isn't that pretty? Okay, and then taking the same brush, no need to make brush laundry, and I'm gonna go all over uh, the inside, let's do the inside of the of the eye, the inner corner, with a big sweeping brush, uh, all the way to the middle. 
we're going to do so we'll get make sure we get some into the inner corner and get that sparkle in there and all the way to the center I'm very happy with that. Time to switch brushes. Let's use a little bit of a fluffier one, also Sonia G today, into this pretty cocoa shade, wiping it off a little bit there. And then uh, I just kind of want to define the uh, crease a little bit here uh, because as I always tell you guys, I do have hooded eyes. So I just kind of want to go in a little circle there. And I think that's already better, isn't it? I still kind of, we might go back in and put some of this highlighter in the on the eye. Why not, right? But it's still giving me such a glow. What's happening on the lips here? Getting pinker by the moment. Looks like it might need a bit of a liner. I had to stop and do that. You know, if you're wearing one of these pH balance lipsticks, as I'm, I'm, I'm still putting that kind of cocoa shade into the middle here, guys. But if you're wearing one of those, um, I do recommend actually, joking aside, that you put it on um, a while before you have to leave your house so you can check that it's evenly applied because before it turns the shade that it's going to turn, uh, it's a little bit too light to see. So I did have to peek into the mirror and kind of, you know, make sure it was ready to go. And I'm going to then uh, take another Sanya G brush and take that same cocoa shade and go all the way under the eye. Ooh, what do you think? We haven't even put the color on. Just really glowy. Doesn't it feel spring, summer? The weather does here anyway. Okay? And now, without further ado, same brush, we're going to go into this pretty shade here. What I like about this, you'll see, is it's really subtle, and we'll do the outside of the mobile lid. Just a little peak of this kind of almost uh, gray, green, seafoamy shade. Oh, this is lovely. This formula is beautiful. It is so sparkly, but it just plays off the light uh, like you're in the sunshine. What a pretty palette. And on the eye, it's going just a tad bit blue-green if you look at the edges here, but it's not glaringly colorful. A great palette for those of you like me, who prefer neutrals and want a little bit of color but don't like it to overtake. That is really, really nice. A very pretty little collection. And of course, I could have indulged and gotten the Ultra Shine lips as well, but you know, you, with Tom Ford, you do have to be careful and rein it in a little bit, right? But let's take a look at what we've got going here. We have the quad eye look. I put on a ton of the highlighter for you guys to take a look at. And what has the lip shade done when left alone? Oh, it's gone very pink, but I kind of like it. I don't know, you guys. Honestly, I love it. <laughs> I, it's a gimmick. It's like a children's gimmick. These pH color change, it gets me every time. I just like it. I. I love the Summer Soleil Tom Ford uh, collections. I always do. Um, I actually like the winter ones, but I like the Summer Soleil. They're always really much like Saint-Tropez to me, like very, I don't know, they feel really chic. And I, I feel the same about all these. My only thing is, you know, is this necessary uh, for a primer? It's certainly a good one. It was easy to apply makeup over. And if you are a Tom Ford fan, you will not be disappointed. If you're dipping your toe into Tom Ford, though, I feel you would really love these two products. You know, I, these highlighters are some of the best on the market, I think. And I love this eye glow. I like the, the uh, cocoa shade that gives you that little bit of almost matte feeling. It's not matte, but that feeling of matte. It's more of a satin, but it just kind of works. And... It feels like I am just sparkly and ready for the beach without feeling overdone with too much color. So I really think it's an absolute winner. Thank you, Andrew, for uh, letting me know all about it and getting it for me. I'm so appreciative. This is where we are a community. Let me know down below your thoughts and what you will be picking up. And if you were able to get any of those Ultra Shine lip shades, let us know down below what you thought of those please. Like I said, this is what makes us a community. Don't forget to subscribe and share, and I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.